Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what we have a 2008 Toyota Highlander. So, Customer States that they have a no start condition. Well, we started the vehicle and I can't recreate it. We test drove it, shut it off, started it again. Couldn't uh, recreate the customer's complaint. I look around, yes, of course, we got some shark piss. It's 2008 with damn near a quarter million miles on it. Of course, the brake fluid is going to look like that. And what multi it wouldn't be special without some freaking fifle action? Of course. Hardware is in crisis. There's rust everywhere on the hardware. If there's rust up here, that's only going to be a telltale sign of what's underneath. You know what comes next. Well, let's take it up top. So now that we have taken it up top, we're going to look around a little bit. Oh boy, yeah, we got flavor. And then, oh, look at that. Looks like they've been to the beach. So, this car is obviously a freaking beach car with the amount of freaking sand that's in this thing. I'm going to build some freaking sand castles. Oh, look, this is busted here. Oh, so they probably got stuck, and when they were backing out, they used this as a freaking plow, and it snapped this right off. Beautiful. Well, <clears throat> let's go a little further back. You know what we're going to be in. We're going to be in flavor country. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. That backing plate is, uh, very, very not good. <laughs> bad English. I speak English and bad English. But yeah, the, the flavor is intense. It's very encrusted there. Oh boy, this side's worse. Wow, this side is much worse. I can tell you this much. This side faces the ocean. Wow. Whoa, uh-oh. Flavor chips that are some ugly flavor. Bushings are looking like they've seen better days. Exhaust. It's freaking exhausted. Whoa. Look at that hanger. It is in crisis. It is struggling. Wow. All right. So they're here for a no start condition that I can't recreate. I'm going to test the battery. Oh, front pinion seal is leaking right there. All right. So I'm just looking at the backing plate and it freaking fell onto the rim, right? Like it's, it's just so bad. And then when it hit the floor, look at what's over here. It freaking explodes. I just made the car lighter. So now that we took it back down, guys, that, that was some oogly boogly stuff that we saw underneath there. Well, the no-star condition, they do have immobilizer codes. I believe the customer's trying to start the car with a bad key. And not for nothing, that's what we just found out from the service rider. There's two sets of keys, and they gave me one set that starts the car perfectly. And they're coming down with the other, and I'm going to tell you this much. I'm not going to hold my breath. I don't know when they're going to pick this car up. <laughs> But based off the codes, based off the complaint, and based off my findings, uh, yeah, battery test good. Starter starts, freaking key starts the car. Uh, mobilizer, it sees the, the known good key start the car, it recognizes it. So, yeah, until uh, they bring that key, that's pretty much it, guys. Until then, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.